Sorry, before we get into anything else, we're going to be doing our second video here today on uh, 3D Vista. Uh, by the way, this is Jody. Hello. And my name is Rich. And we're kind of new to 3D Vista. We do a lot of um, 360 work, drone aerial photography, ground 360s, mapping and modeling. And 3D Vista looks like something that we might be good with. But before I go any further, because I'm going to make this a completely clipped off area here i would like to hear from the audience on this one um is this of value to you is this uh training worthwhile to you your time because we're going to take some time explaining some of these things so if this doesn't mesh with what you're usually looking for um from our channel please let me know and also let me know what you would like to see 3d vista is definitely very different from a lot of the other um uh, a lot of the other presenters like Kula and um, Cloud, Cloud Piano, Piano and, and Theasis. Um, this one seems to be more designed to bigger uh, projects. So it's not just about 360 virtual tours, but that's where we're going to start with this today. So I've got my class media up here and we are going to bring in some pianos for editing. So we have the pianos from Jody. Those are the originals. Yep, so there is the pianos with the edits. So that's what we're after first. But first, we need to get into 3D Vista. Now, 3D Vista is uh, also created for um, Windows as well. And uh, so if you wanted to use a Windows platform instead of a Mac, you can. So here we are, we're gonna Open something up, right? Yep. All right. New project. So let's go to the open. Selecting a skin, you can just put backgrounds and you know other interesting things. Um, if you're just doing fly throughs, if you're doing just a virtual tour of a home, um, unless the home is I don't know five million plus, <laughs> um, then maybe some of the other pieces, other um, skins on here would be beneficial, but. Otherwise, you can just go with the basic. You don't need to have all, because everything that's on a skin, you you have to put in there. Mm -hmm. So when it's thumbnails, you're putting those thumbnails across the bottom. They're not automatically generated for you. Yep. So we're just going to go with the basic here and select it. So I would like to import some panoramas. We're not going to do the live panoramas or the adaptive HDR, although they look pretty cool. They do look really cool. But uh, at some point we'll have to uh, do those, but uh, we're gonna do a standard panorama. Now, the other thing I wanted to let you know, here's the 2005 library, classes, 3D, and our class media for the first go round. So we have, we have Jody's Pano edits, and up, oh, Oh, that's the interior. the interior. We will get to those. We want um, aerial. There we go. We want the aerial ones. And we're going to select. I'm going to select all of them. And you don't have to put them all in your final presentation. One of the nice things is if you import something, you can skip over it or remove it from the library. Well, and you also don't have to import everything all at the same time. It does let you do it as you go. Um, the only benefit of importing everything all at once is when you're going from image one and you want to connect to image two, you can just drag image two because it's already there. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you have to Go select the hotspot, drop the hotspot, upload your image, connect it, make sure, and then you have to go and manually do a backlink. Yeah. So our loading media seems to be taking a moment, a little longer than the usual, I, I guess. I picked 18 photos. I picked 18 photos. All right, everybody. So there we go. One of the other things that I want to advise you about with this, um, the fonts in here are terribly small. If I look over here on the right hand side, if I do a control and slide in, I can read these much better. So, you know, if, uh, if these fonts are too small for you, like they are for me sometimes, um, you can zoom in on them so that you know what the tool is. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, no, it's, it's the same way the on the all, size. you know, my uh, iMac's the same, uh, a Mac Mini behind me is the same, so uh, a little bit of a pain, but, you know. Also, you'll notice that uh, Jody resized these to 6,000 by 3,000. They were actually even larger than that, so one of the things you need to pay attention to is your editing of your images that you're going to bring in. We're not, we're not doing an editing class here. 
we're assuming that you have a bundle of uh, 360 images that you want to work with. So we're starting out a little quick here. And have them edited beforehand because you cannot edit your images in here. There's no sharpen, there's no lighten, there's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to do all that work up front before you start working in 3D Vista. So, you know, I'll, that's similar to a lot of other uh, cloud-based ones as well. Yeah. So. But, um, so, right here, well, actually, we've got my tours, we've got the skins, panoramas, photos, videos, 360 videos, 3D models, floor plans, these are all available. And it gets, it takes a little time to get used to them. Yes. Yep. So what we're going to do here, because we'd like to start building something, and we're, we're not going to build this whole thing in the first 15 minutes. We're going to build some of it, and then we'll go mm -hmm. back in and add the additional uh, hotspots. Um, the first thing you can do is up in the right-hand corner where it says project name. Well, yeah. In your global settings, you can uh, title the project. Uh, class January... Two oh one five. All right, two two oh two five. Yeah, I can go back. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. All right, so there we go. With that um, you can look through the rest of these, but since we're gonna move along a little quickly, um, I'm gonna go ahead to the tour number one and double click this. So now you'll see we've got a list of images over here, and then over in here we've got the uh, what each of those images. Now. When looking at this image over on the right hand side, we've got a set view as initial point. So when it came in, it was right about here. Mm -hmm. And this does look like, because we're gonna go down this road here, setting this view as the initial point looks good by me. So I just clicked onto it. We're not resizing anything. And we haven't done anything with the piano yet because we've got panorama actions here. But what we're gonna do is take the panos and dive into the hotspots. And also at the very bottom on the right hand column, you'll see the autoplay setting. Yeah. So if you uncheck the play as a loop, yeah. it will not autoplay every time. Yeah, so. But it's actually not that bad because it goes pretty slow. Yeah. So yeah, better than some other ones. Yes. So, all right, we would like to connect number two over here to number one. So we can actually drag number two in, but I haven't done something yet. You can't so. do that until you click on hotspots. You can't do that until you click on hotspots. You hot cannot spots. connect anything until you're in hotspots. Yep. And you're gonna get frustrated the first few times you try to do it, and then you realize, oh, you're still sitting in settings. Yeah, so we did it before when we were testing to do this video with you guys. Um, and we mucked around for a minute or yeah. two. Yeah. You know, where is it? What is it? Well, it's it? easy to forget because it's such a similar screen. You still have everything on the left-hand side that yeah. you have in the settings screen. Yeah. And also on the right-hand side, now our hotspots look a little different here. They're a little weird. Uh, we've got polygon, text, image, video. We could use a video as a link and a web frame. The, uh, not tricky, I can't think of the right word at the moment, but on the image hotspot, that implies you're using another image for a hotspot. That's actually where all of the hotspots are located. All of your hotspot icons are under image, yeah. which is very deceiving. Yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> because like, where is it? you're trying to find everything but that. Yeah. All right. So we've got the hotspots picked now. So I'm going to grab Aerial Tour number two. And number two is right about here with that new building, mm -hmm. right? So let's pop number two right here. We've got to create return to home hotspot, so it will make a hotspot that goes back to where we started, which is convenient, and a lot of the uh, 360 builders do that as well. Yes. All right, so we're going to create it, and then we're going to pick from the library of hotspots. Now, I like the little animated ones, and I like them going to the panorama floor. So are we okay with me doing those down yeah. there? Yeah. All right. So there we go, and I do like the little... I think that's the one. When you click on it, just a single click, it yep. will animate it. Otherwise, it's just, they're yep. all still until you... Yeah, so I think it. I'm going to select that one. And also, this blue dot, actually, is our go back behind us. Yep. So we're going to take that blue dot, and we're just going to move it over to the roadway. Put it down in front, we're closer to the front of the house right there. Okay, yep, there we go. 
So that's where that's going to be when we whip it around afterwards. So I'm going to hit add here. Now, like I said, we're going to do a series of videos. So we're not going to race through this. And, no, this is just a here. nice to get you started basics. Yeah, and there are some really good ones out there, videos, and then there's a couple that just left me confused with mm -hmm. some of the tools. So we're gonna see if we can figure that out. Uh, some of our Patreon members also have tried this out and have had problems with some of the tools as well. All right, so we have linked ourselves down to number two. Now, if I turn this around right now, we're not gonna see that other hotspot because we need to get into two to look back at yep. one. So we're gonna turn this around. We've got that first hotspot. And so what I'm gonna do now, upper left corner, I am going to click on aerial tour number two, click. So now we're on two. And so we dropped the hotspot for it right about here. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. And so now what we'd like to do is a hotspot for number three. So I'm gonna drag this out and this is approximate and we like that truck. Um, this is approximate, not perfect. And um, let's... No, that's the one you want. So yep. if you just click on the circle, it'll automatically yep. put it there. And once again, we're going to turn this around. Back to that. Uh, down a little further. Yeah. Because we're on yeah, Oh, yeah. We're, yep. So we'll drag that right about there. So it's nice having that, that dot to drag and drop is unlike some of the other ones where it does the backlink and then you have to search all over your photo trying to find that backlink so <laughs> yep. you can place it where it needs to go. And so right there, there is the backlink. Now, if you ever want to change anything, you can click on it, highlight mm -hmm. it. Over in the right hand side, we've got, you know, we've got the opacity um, visible on rollover and that's for the link here. So you could add tags to it if you wanted searchable tags in this. And um, yeah, that's it. So you start playing around with these. So we're looking back and it's telling me too up here, we currently have linked uh, Aerial Tour Dash 1 and Aerial Tour Dash 3. So it tells us which ones are on. And if you want to change the icon at all, you just hit the little gear, the little cog that's on there, the little the orange little one. orange cog there. And that you can go back and change it. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. So now we need to drag. Nope. Three. You have to go to three. You already dragged three. On. All right. Thank you. So I've got a whoops. No, you're on three. Okay, yeah, there's the car I like. So, good deal. We've gotten that one in here. So, now we want to go to four, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's past that truck that we like. That's, it's good to have there reminders. Little markers, yeah, yeah. Little markers that you know. Like the nice truck. You were, yeah, the nice truck. So, you were out at this location, and we're going to go ahead and turn this back. I Down. think to the road. Yeah. 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 We'll put it on that road and we'll add that. And then flip around and, or yep. yeah, and make sure that you have the back link. Yep. So there okay. it is. And you'll notice the quality doesn't look that great on the images. Yeah. And that's because you're in work mode. So when you're put, building these, they don't need to display it a hundred percent because your images should already be presentation quality when you're yeah. building a virtual tour. Yep. So now we, uh, let me see here. So the next one is going to be go to four, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And now. And that's it right there. I wanted to mention um, you can, in order to set the view for each one, you do have to do it in the settings, like how we set the um, image one for the start point mm -hmm. where it's pointed. You have to do that for each one, um, unless you're happy with it just going through the way it is, yeah. which with these is fine because you're following a road. So I need to go out to four now, right? Mm-hmm. And here we are on four. So now we're looking out toward five. Okay, so now we are currently in number four and we can jump to number three or number five. You'll miss one here and there and that's it's great to have a partner here going, hey, stop that. Learning curve. Yeah, and so I'm gonna grab six, right? And I think somewhere right about here. And so this is going to be the last one of these because I think you get the idea. The other thing, as you're adding these, you can always come back and alter them. Oh yeah, like me, I would probably adjust the size of the hotspot just to make it a little smaller, make it fit a little better. But you know, that's all personal preference. If it's uniform and it's easy to follow, then you're doing it right. 
Now, if we want to see how well we've done so far, um, what we can do here, I want to go back to the list view that they Yes. have. And we're going to click on list. And so what? We got the We've first linked. up to six. Yes. Yep. So I'm going to go down to preview. And you'll see it's going to take a moment. So processing. And there Oh, we why is it still Why doing is it going all of them? 16? Yeah. All right. As you can see, we did something wrong. Learning curve. Learning curve. All right. So we cut some of that out just because it was going on forever. And that's uh, so we had our mistake there right in front of you. Um, which we'll figure that out. Why, Yep. why only, you know, we only wanted to select certain ones. You can see what Jody talked about early on. We've got the spinning show The here. autoplay. It's Yeah. not horrible Yeah. because it's not, nothing's getting distorted horribly. It's not spin. It's not nauseating. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then we can grab it and of course take control. Let's go ahead and go down to number two. So now we're at number two, looking down to number three, where that truck is that we really, really like. So, um, it's got a snorkel and everything. I don't know that they've taken It doesn't it. have a scratch on it, but It it has doesn't a snorkel. have a scratch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So there's our link back to one. Yep. So now we're sitting on top of three, looking at four. There's the truck with its snorkel. And um, actually, let's zoom in on it. Oh, well, it's nice with, because it's an aerial tour like this, going down only so many roads, um, you don't have to label. If it was an interior tour, then I would definitely recommend labels, especially if you're like in a hallway and there's bedroom two, bedroom three, and a bathroom or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but when you're out on the road like that, you don't necessarily have to label everything because Yeah. And like, this one gave us our it, look you back. can't get lost in it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So there we go. We're going to close the tour viewer for you. So this is the basic starting point, dragging images in. Um, you can also import them as well, but I like the piano dragon. I think that works really Yeah. well. All right, everyone, we're going to shut this one down and we'll see you in another video real soon.